Hello everybody, and welcome back to another update video on the 199 the time Hardcore Iron Man series that I'm doing. Uh, we're just about to finish up our first level since the last episode, which is level 88. Uh, I believe there was something unlocked with this. Guess not. Um, but we continue for another couple, and I think it's six or seven hours. At this point, gotten to the point now where I can't quite grind out one level per day, at least, um, on average. So that's kind of an unfortunate thing that happens now. Uh, every level is eight or nine hours of grinding, so there's really no reasonable way of doing a whole level in a day, unless it's a weekend. Uh, but here we go, we hit level 89. Almost forgot at this point to use my book of knowledge and my lamps that I got from random event. Uh, that also unlocks the uh, hard revenant cave jump. Not that we'll be going to the revenant cave probably, considering they're in the wilderness. But we use our book of knowledge and our lamps. We get a decent amount of experience, but all it really does is knock the whopping three or four, five, three, four, five. So I think it was three laps for the from the book of knowledge and one lap from the lamp. So we whop, uh, we knocked a whopping five laps of our uh, off of our total. Then shortly after that, we hit. 5 million agility, which is a pretty neat mile. Uh, well on our way. So at this point, then, you know, we continue grinding it out. We're at 89 agility. The last level before we get to move on to our next port. Uh, by this time, I can pretty much half asleep do this course and get near perfect fix all the time. Uh, with the near perfect six, you get around 53, 52 to 53 uh, thousand experience. With a bot, the uh, wiki says I think you can get 50, but that's just not quite possible, at least that I've seen. Uh, so we grind out this last level before we get to move on to the hard. I, Still can't pronounce it. I just call it the Hardy Course. So we do those last couple levels. At this point, we're gonna head down to Sears Village, dump off all of our rewards that we've gotten from all of the random events, and we get a get to take a good look at all of the. Um, I will say that this kind of set of ten levels was not as profitable in the random events as others have been. But you can see we've gotten a decent amount of loot from all these so far since the beginning. 10 sapphire, uh, 10 emeralds, a couple rubies, a couple diamonds, uh, a couple uh, uh, pre-cut sapphires, and chaos runes and whatnot. Uh, you also saw some herb lore. I got some, I think it was snapdragons, uh, grimy snapdragons. And we really haven't used many of the wines um, at this point. So I, I dumped some of them. At this point, uh, we also are up to 1,344 marks of grace. Pretty significant amount. Uh, they are saying that on average, you should end up with about 4,200 total marks of grace by the time you hit level 90. Uh, that includes the 260 that go into uh, the that go into the race flat. Now at this point we're running the hardy course, um, and we grind out. We managed to grind out one more level before the end of this episode. So really, again at this point, you know, we only got three three levels: 88, 89, and 90. Or 88. 89, 90, 90. So we got four levels, right? From 87 to 88. 89. I, I don't know. It, at this point, it's just kind of a blur. So we end it there, and I hope to see you in stream or in the next.